In the overview, we looked at assembly and detail drawings. In the 2D drawings, in the front view, we can see the hinged access door, we can see the hinged door with the wire mesh, and I've added some dimensions, just overall dimensions, and some notation. On the right side view, again, we can see hinged wire mesh doors, an overall dimension, and in the top view, we can see a couple of green roof areas and an overall dimension. In this lesson, I'm using inches as the unit of measurement. Data sets are provided for both inches and millimeters. Now let's have a look inside AutoCAD as to how I created these 2D drawings. I started by creating a drawing and the template file that's provided. In that template file are a number of layers predefined for you. Under annotation, we also have predefined dimension styles and notes and leaders, and we'll have a look at those later. So let's go back to the Home tab, make sure that the coupe layer is current, and I'm going to create a rectangle. And the rectangle is the first of the supports for the nesting box. I'm going to start that at 0, 0, so that's 0, tab 0, and drag the, drag the rectangle out until it's 3.5 by 28. Now I can create the nesting box. Again, I'm going to use the line command. Object snap goes to the endpoint, and the width is 34.5. But you'll notice ortho is not on, so throughout the demonstrations we'll be turning ortho on and off. So that's 34.5 inches, and the height is 17.5 inches, and I'm using direct distance. I'm going to right click and enter. I know the slope on the roof is 17.5 on one side and 15.5 on the other, giving me a drop of a couple of inches. So that's going to be 15.5 inches. I want to complete that, but ortho's in the way, so I'll toggle that off. And now I can finish the nesting box. To complete this section, I just need to add one more rectangle. And again, this rectangle will be 3.5 by 28. But in this case, the values are going to be negative. And that completes the 2D version of the first nesting box. Using the rectangle and the line command, I've completed most of the drawing of the front view. Now what I want to do is create the opening for the wire mesh door. So using the offset command and an offset of 2 inches, I'm creating 4 extra lines. Having created those lines, I'm then going to go to the trim command and trim off the extras that I don't need. Now I noticed a tiny couple of little lines here, so let's go up and trim those off first. Be careful you don't miss those. And then work my way around the four corners, trimming out all those extra lines. Once I've completed this, I'm going to create a hatch pattern in that area to represent the wire mesh door. But before I do that, I need to change my layer, and I've created a layer called Hatch. With the layer changed, I can now go to the Hatch command. And there's a hatch pattern named NC37 that will work quite well. So select NC37. Make sure it's by layer to get the correct color. And I need to change the angle to 45, which will actually make these vertical and horizontal lines. Change my scale to 12. Select an area, and that looks good. I'm going to do something similar for the ground. First of all, I'm going to change the layer to the ground level layer. Then I'm going to draw a line just to represent the horizontal surface that the chicken coop is sitting on toggling ortho back on. Then I'm going to use a special command called the spline. You may not have used this before. Just turn ortho off. I'm just going to create what's really a wavy kind of line here. There it is. And to represent the earth, what I'm going to do is create a hatch pattern. Select the pattern called earth. There it is. And what I need to do, if I just hover on it, I can see that the angle is incorrect. So I need to change that angle to 0. The scale is good at 12. There's my pick point. Right-click Enter. 
and the front view is pretty well complete except for dimensions and other annotation. With the front view now complete, I can go ahead and create the top view. So I'm going to go back to the coupe layer, select the line command, and I'm going to do this by acquiring the corner points. So with my object snap on, I select the end point and do a similar workflow to get the other end point. And this is going to be a rectangle and that vertical dimension is going to be 34 and now I can complete the shape of that first nesting box. I can then repeat the workflow for the remaining nesting boxes, just acquiring those corner points with the endpoint O snap and draw the second nesting box. And again, that's a distance of 34. And you can change these later, edit them if you wish. I've now completed all four nesting boxes. Now use the trim command just to take out those extra lines that weren't required. So now I can go ahead and create the right side view. To create the right side view, I'm actually going to change to a layer called construction. And I'm going to use a line called the ray. What this allows me to do is to create a line from a point which will go at a great distance off up to the right. Now I want that to be at 45 degrees, so I need my polar tracking on. And I've already set it to 45 degrees. And the reason for doing that and creating that line is that I can now go ahead and using the ray again, select the end point on the top view, intersects with the diagonal ray, and then draw that line again. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing those lines around from the top view down to the right side view. So I'll repeat that for the second line on the first nesting box. And then what we'll do is we'll project the lines across from the front view. That's because these are orthographic views that are at right angles to each other. There are many other techniques you could use, but this is one that, that I like to use. Now I'm going to go back to the coupe layer and use the line command to draw the right side view of that nesting box. I'm just clicking between those ray lines. And you see there's a pretty easy procedure. Just make sure you keep that horizontal. And there we have it. There's the first nesting box. I've repeated that procedure many times. You can see that all those uh, rays are there. So what I want to do is turn off the visibility of the construction layer. That's much cleaner looking. Now let's go and have a look at the right side view. You can see that I've added the four nesting boxes, the ground level hatching, and the doors. I've added the hatch pattern to those as well. In the next video, we'll add annotation to these views. I'll also show you how to create detailed views of each of the nesting boxes, add a parts list, and preview what a 3D view of the nesting boxes looks like.